When we see these heartbreaking images in Texas and Louisiana, it makes us all want to help. But sadly, we want to tell you there are scammers out there, and they are looking to take advantage of that goodwill. After Hurricane Katrina, for example, some $20 million was lost to scams. So we had today National Investigative Correspondent Jeff Ross and look into this. He's got some tips. I mean, we really want to make sure this good-hearted motivation that the, the money ends up in the right hands. Yeah, and this is when the criminals come out. This is like their Christmas, when we all want to help people. They know they can pull on our heartstrings. This is why the Department of Justice late last night issued an urgent warning, a new alert to be careful of these scams. So we wanted to come with you and, and tell you about some of the things that you can do to avoid that. We want to start with the first one, which is you want to avoid donating via email. First of all, legit charities won't be blasting you with emails and telling you to donate right there. And if you've, the only way they have your email address is if you've donated to them before, this is when criminals will send you phishing emails. Mm -hmm. And it'll look like it's from the American Red Cross. They'll have one letter off that you won't notice. You click on that, suddenly they're into your computer, and they're also going to get your credit card information yeah. from them. Do not donate via email. Okay, another thing, don't give cash. Anybody asking cash, that's just no-go. Yeah, the legit charities, they don't want cash. They want goods, or they want you to donate with your credit card card or, or, or a check. That way, if you give cash, think about it, if you give cash and then you find that it's a scam later, there is no way to get that money back. Oh, there is no course. record of the transaction. Yes. They don't want cash. Pay via credit card, pay via uh, check. There are obviously some big name relief organizations we know, mm -hmm. but there are also copycats. Yeah, this is when the copycats come out. You may get that email from them and you may see that that American Red Cross logo we know so well, but maybe it's called the National Red Cross. Mm -hmm. Instead of Toys for Tots, maybe it's Tots for toys, it, you know, something like that. These scammers can also mimic the actual name of the of the charity. So you want to look out for copycats as well. And again, going back to that first tip, and I can't stress it enough, look out for one wrong letter in an email address. They do that. That is one of their classic signature moves. We got to have our eyes peeled. And if you get an email and there are attachments or yes. photos, don't click. Yeah, and this is the advice we've done on Ross and Reports a lot. Never open attachments if you don't know exactly who it's from. Some of these fake charities will send you a link or some kind of attachment to show you a picture of a disaster. Look at the kids who you're going to help. Do not click on attachments unless you know who it's from. Okay. And if you, by the way, if you get an email from one of these places and you want to click on an attachment, don't do it. Don't, even if you think it's legit, Get off that email, go to the actual website for the charity that's confirmed and donate through that. Which is actually our, our last yeah. tip. Check out the websites. Exactly. What am I looking for when I look at these websites? So a lot of the websites for legit charities will end in .org. Okay. If you see a .com, it's not necessarily a fake charity, but it's a red flag and something to look for. American Red Cross, oh, Salvation Army, they're .orgs. You want to look for that. Dot coms are a red flag. Jeff, thank you. It's really good information. Yeah, I hope people will open their hearts. Let's Hello today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights and digital exclusives.